Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 17-year-old athlete who has an unexpected finding in his lateral side of his knee. He has what we call an osteochondral defect, or OCD. This is a fairly large osteochondral defect. They involve the articular surface, and there are areas where the bone does not develop normally. It loses its blood supply, and in cases where they are large or the osteochondral defect is unstable or loose, they can go on to collapse and cause arthritis. So the surgeon may have to go in and drill across these, just like a, with a normal drill like you'd see in your home. They you take a drill and go right through the osteochondral defect in places, and they provide a channel for the good marrow to communicate with the osteochondral defect. And with that channel developed, the osteochondral defect can go on to heal. So the job of the radiologist is to mention where it is, and if it is an osteochondral defect that is stable that may potentially heal spontaneously, or if it's loose or unstable and may not heal without the surgical intervention. So this is a sagittal view we're looking at, looking in profile. We see his kneecap towards the front here. We see the normal anterior femoral condyle. And then here is the area that's abnormal with arrows and large osteochondral defect. We note the articular surface is smooth, it's not collapsed yet, which is great. And there's another arrow down here. This is a little transverse band of the tibia below. This is a stress fracture or stress reaction here. And this may be why he came in recently, because of a pain related to this stress injury. So two things going on, a prominent osteochondral defect, and then down below this stress injury. Now I'm going to go to another view here, looking with, um, it's called a stir image. And on this marrow is bright. We see this patchy marrow edema in the tibia below. That little transverse band is a little stress reaction, either trabecular microfracture or bone sclerosis, and this patchy marrow edema, so a stress injury of the tibia. Luckily, that's not collapsed. And this is a view that shows this osteochondral fragment here. And as we go towards the back, we see a band of bright signal, or increased signal intensity here between the osteochondral defect and the normal bone. And this is a sign of loosening or instability. So when we see fluid signal um, outlining this, we know that there's no chance for blood to pass between these two. This is going to uh, be unstable, and they're going to need to drill this. So this is the information the surgeon needs. And also know that this is there's no collapse yet, and the articular surface looks normal. So some other t features are a little bit atypical about this, but it does look like a prominent osteochondral defect that is unstable and also a stress fracture of his tibia. Thank you very much.